Good evening, friends. Today we will solve some syllogism problems. These are really easy problems. Only thing we need to be a little careful is we need to be a little careful in uh, reading the English statements correctly. Right. We need to be a little careful in reading the English statements correctly and uh, be able to solve, create some Venn diagrams. This syllogism was there, was quite popular throughout the history. It was there, it is almost 2000 years old. It was first created by the great philosopher Aristotle, even before Jesus Christ was born. Aristotle wrote a book in uh, BC 350, right? In that, he has discussed about this kind of deductive reasoning. For example, he gave uh, these kind of statements, all men are mortal, Socrates is a man, Therefore, Socrates is mortal. This kind of statements. Right. So, this is kind of deductive reasoning. It was there for the last 2000 years. Now, while solving these kind of problems, right, it is, it is important for us to draw the respective Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams are diagrams something like this, where we draw circles to describe relationships between different sets. For example, set A, set B or set A, set B, where there is some something common between set A and set B, nothing common in set A and set B, set A is subset of set B, something like this. Right, we should be able to draw these kind of diagrams. These diagrams are called Venn diagrams. These are named after British mathematician John Venn. John Venn, he created these kind of diagrams during 18 to 19th century. He was a mathematician at this time. He created this kind of Venn diagrams to describe relationships between different sets. With this, it becomes really easy for us to solve these kind of problems. Let us try to use these diagrams and solve these problems. Right. Here, only a few charts are turbines. That means some charts are turbines, some charts are not turbines. So the diagram would be something like this. This is the first statement. Only a few turbines are ports. That means some turbines are ports, some turbines are not ports. Right. Only a few ports are fans. Some ports are fans, some ports are not fans. These are the three independent diagrams. Right. Let's try to combine all of them. First, let's look at the conclusions. This is the conclusion, so we'll try to combine. Right. Some fan is chart is a possibility. Is a possibility means it's a maybe statement. Right. We should be able to create some kind of diagram like this. Some fan, some chart. Right. If there is something common between fan and chart, it is okay for us. Right. If, if this kind of diagram is possible, if it is possible only. It is not mandatory. So this is not a mandatory statement. This is a possibility statement. This is a maybe statement. If this kind of diagram we are able to create with these three rules, then it is fine. We can say the conclusion one is valid. Let's try to create. So charts and turbines, then turbines and ports. So we can take some ports, something like this. Turbines and ports, this becomes ports. Then ports and fans, ports and fans also we can create like this. Because between port and fan, there should be something common. Between turbine and port, there should be something common. Right. So then we are able to create some area between, between fan and chart. This is a possibility. This not need not be always mandatory, but we are able to create this area. What does this mean? This statement can be made. Right. Some fan being a chart is a possibility. So this is a possibility if we draw the diagram like this. So the statement is valid. All fans are turbines. Right. All fans are turbines. What does that mean? We have to draw. All fans are turbines means. What is the diagram? All fans are turbines. This is the diagram that he is saying. Right. He is saying. To disprove the statement, what is what is the diagram that we have to create? Even if we create fan and turbine like this, or fan and turbine like this, then also his statement will become invalid. Right. Here he is making a confirmative statement, affirmative statement. Right. This is all fans are turbines. Is that means all fans have to be turbines. Even if you say there is one fan that is not a turbine like this, then also we can disprove and we can 
remove, we can disprove his statement, disprove his conclusion. Or you may say, no fan is turbulent, that is also fine. Right. So we need to create either this diagram or this diagram to disprove his statement. If you are not able to create this diagram or this diagram, then only his statement can be valid. So it might be possible that we should, we can be able to create this diagram. But this might be one possibility only. It's not just the create his ability to create this diagram. It's actually we should be, we should be, we should not be able to create either this diagram or this diagram. Then only we can say this conclusion is true. Right. Please understand this clearly. It's not about creating this diagram. Right. It's about, it's about not being able to create this or this. Right. It's, it's about not being able to create the opposite of this. All fans are turbines. Right. That means there must be at least one fan which is not, all fans are turbines. That means there must be at least one fan which is not turbine. Right. This is what if you are able to create, then this statement would be proved wrong. And if you are not able to create, then this statement will be right. Let's try this. So here we are given charts, turbines, turbines, pores, pores, fans. So we don't need to, we, we are talking about turbines and fans. We don't need to worry about the first statement. So let's follow from the second one. Turbines and pores. Turbines and pores are like this. Right. Only a few pores are fans. Right. Only a few pores are fans. Then we can always create fans like this, where there is no intersection between turbines and fans. So all fans and turbines clearly Clearly, we are able to create this diagram, right? We are able to create this diagram. Only few, few ports and fans. We are able to create this diagram. We are able to create this diagram. In fact, we will be able to create this diagram also. If we slightly extend, if we slightly extend, we will be able to create this diagram also, right? So that means this one is definitely wrong, right? So in this kind of statements, in this kind of confirmative statements, in this kind of confirmative statement, we need to be able to, we should look for the opposite. In kind of possibility statements, we can just create the diagram that we is saying. In this kind of confirmative statements, we should be able to, we should look for the opposite and whether we are able to create the opposite. If you are not able to create the opposite, then only this statement is valid. Right. Even if in one case, if you are able to create, then the statement will not be valid. Right. Next. All beaches are deltas. This means what? These are beaches and these are deltas, right? All deltas are questions. These are deltas, that means all these are questions, right? All beaches are deltas, this means B is inside D. All deltas are questions between D is inside C. There will not be any B which is not a delta. There will not be any delta which is not a question, right? No question is wave, right? So that means wave is completely separate. Wave, there is no intersection between question and wave. This is wave, W. Some beaches can be waves. Is it possible? Some beaches can be waves means what he is expecting is to create something like this. Beaches and waves. Here, here it is a possibility statement. Can be means even if you are able to create one instance of this, then it is fine. It is fine. We can say the statement is true. But in this case, here it is definitely not possible because, because the questions, no question is wave. The question cannot touch a view and beach has to be within the question. So there is no way some beach can become wave. So this is definitely wrong. No delta is wave. Right. What does that mean? This is not even a single delta which is wave. So here what is the opposite of this? If you are able to create again delta and wave at least one delta which is wave. If you are able to create this statement then this becomes wrong. It's not about no delta is wave. If we should be able to, we should try to create this kind of state, this kind of picture, this kind of Venn diagram. At least one delta which can become wave. If this we are able to create if this kind of diagram, then we can disprove this statement. Let's try to create this kind of diagram. Is it possible? It is not possible because this delta always has to stay within the limits of question. And the question and wave cannot touch. Right. So there is no way this delta and wave there has there can be an intersection. Right. So this is clearly this diagram is clearly not possible. So we will say the statement is true, right? Next one. Only few, only a few SSR clubs. That means some SSR clubs, some SSR not. 
right a and c right no club is jack club and jack club and jack right only few jacks are diamonds jacks diamonds it is like this don't worry about the names even if you play cards you should not worry about the names in this case that's why i'm writing a c c j and all so that we will not get confused with the nomenclature whether yes is clubs and all right only a few jacks are diamonds so here we are given a c c j j d right what are the what is the conclusion some diamonds are aces what is the saying what is that this statement means some diamonds are aces he is saying some diamonds are aces so here it is not a possibility statement it is a confirmative statement okay it is a confirmative statement so what is the opposite that we have to prove some diamonds are aces what is the opposite that we have to prove the opposite that we have to prove is there is no diamond which is an ace right so there is if you are able to create one such instance of this an instance where there is no diamond which is an ace then the statement will will be disproved he is saying some diamonds are aces he is saying some diamonds are always aces there will always be some diamond which is an ace there will always be some d which is an a right he is saying this some diamonds are aces that means there will always be some diamond which is an ace for the, what is the opposite of this we should be able to create at least one instance where there is there is no diamond which is an ace if you are able to create at least one instance of this if you are able to draw this diagram then this statement would be disproved because he is saying oh, there is always some diamond which is an ace he is saying this kind of statement to disprove this what we have to say we have to say there must be at least one case where all the diamonds not even a single ace is there right we have to draw this kind of diagram we try to draw this kind of diagram and if it is possible that means the statement is gone if it is not possible then the statement is the statement is right let's try diamond and ace diamond and ace so all three that we have to say a right a c then c j c j we can write j d also we can write so so we are able to draw this diagram there will always some diamond which is not in s we are able to create this diagram so definitely what does that mean so some diamonds are aces is definitely not correct always there can be cases where there can be diamonds which are not aces so this statement is wrong next some aces are jacks what is saying again these are aces these are jacks a and j he is trying to make this statement now we have to create again, again it's the same thing we have to create he is saying there will always be some ace which is a jack you should be saying there must be at least one case where no ace is a jack there must be at least one case if you are able to create at least one case of this one diagram of this where there can be no ace which is a jack then this statement can be disproved let's try to create this diagram a and j so we need to use first two only right a c a c is done and we have we want to create j separately right c j so j is here right so there is no intersection between ace and jacks some aces or jacks need not happen right they can create a situation where no ace is a jack so this is also wrong right both the statements are wrong both the conclusions cannot be derived from this right let's take one more all these are coming in svpo prelims these are really important questions please try to understand them some apples are bananas don't worry about the names that we should we'll go by initials right some apples are bananas that means there will always be some apple which is a banana right that's what he is saying no banana is date right no banana is date that means banana and date are separate right he is saying some dates are not apples is a possibility again is a possibility statement so some dates are not apples so what he is saying if you are able to create it's a possibility state right statement right we don't need to disprove anything apples and dates 
If I are able to create this statement, then this statement is valid because it is a possibility statement. We don't need to disprove anything. Even if we are able to prove this thing, that is sufficient. If this kind of diagram is possible, then this is sufficient. Is it possible? No banana is date. Right. No banana is date. We can always create the date here. Right. So no banana is date. Some there can be possibility of the dates being apples. Right. This kind of intersection we are able to create as per these rules. So that means this possibility is definitely there. Right. All apples can never be dates. What does that mean? He is saying all apples can never be dates. What is the diagram he is saying? He is saying all apples can never be dates. This kind of diagram is definitely not possible is what he is saying. Right. This kind of diagram is definitely not possible is what he is saying. If you are able to prove at least one instance, one instance of this diagram, right? All apples, all apples can never be dates. What is the opposite of this? Opposite of this is, is this, right? If you are able to create at least one instance, one instance where all apples can become dates, then we can disprove his statements. He is saying all apples can never be dates. So what he is saying, there will always be some apples. He is making kind of making this statement, right? All apples can never be dates means some apples can be dates or he is saying, he is saying like this also, right? Some apples can be dates or some apples, none of the apples can be dates, but all apples can never be dates. So this kind of diagram is not possible is what he is saying, right? In this diagram, all apples being dates it can is not possible. Now we have to create this diagram and then if this is possible, then uh, we can disprove this statement, right? Now let's follow this again. Some apples are bananas. Some apples are bananas. Right. No banana is date. No banana is date means there is no way we can do all of this. We can draw as much big circle as this wall, but we will not be able to cover this part. Cover this part of dates. Right. If we are able to cover this part of date only, then only we will be able to create this kind of diagram. But in this case, in this case, if, if we cover this part of the diagram, then we will contradict this statement. No banana is date, right? Date and banana cannot intersect because apple and banana, there is some intersection. There is no way we can cover with date this intersection, right? All apples can never be dates. That's why this statement is true because we are not able to draw this diagram, right? We are able to draw this big end of diagram only. We are not able to cover the entire apples with dates. Right. Hope you understood this. These are really easy problems. We just need to understand the given statements. We just need to read the English clearly and be able to draw the necessary Venn diagrams. Thank you guys. All the best.